Okay, a little more details on the Pon Serenagi, Drop Serenagi over here. All right. Uh, again, off the clinch. Again, my opponent has got my arm. Okay, I need to I need to get loose of this arm so I can go underneath and go for my throw. Now, again, the one of the, one of the ways I like to break off here is twist my arm. Okay, and yank it out. That's another way you can try it. At the same time, if he's extremely strong and you can't even do that, what you want to do, pull back just as much as you can to get your elbow right where his bent is here, and then muscle your way out. Okay? So basically here, you want to bring it up and then open it up here, and then you can go for the move. Okay? One more time. We're clinched up. Now, I twist my arm. Like I said, guys, in mixed martial arts, after two minutes in the, in the fight, both of you are very sweaty and very slippery, okay? That way, the, all these throws have to do when your opponent is all sweaty and you can actually display judo throws to your advantage in the fight, okay? Now, from here, again, same way. You twist your arm and you yank it out. The second way, if he's extremely strong, you have the same lock, okay? You, you bring just as much as you can Okay, just as much to get your elbow right where his elbow is. Okay, now from here, I can open it up physically. I can kind of like bend it out. Now it's, it's a little more open. Now I can start yanking it out again. Okay, now I'm going to go for the move and show you what you can do with it. If you actually go in the wrong, you sit at the wrong place, you can give a rear naked choke to him. Okay, like I said before, okay, if I drop here, okay, if I drop here, he's got a rear naked choke on me right here. Okay, that's dangerous on this one because I do expose my back. I don't have a hold of the arm. It's not that tight. And at the same time, where, I'm, where my angle is, is a very dangerous position here. I need to be right in here with his arm attached to my back. Now, he might try to get the hooks in again. Okay, he get gets the hooks in. It still might be bad. That's, what, that's where your pull comes in. That's where the drag and the pull comes in, okay? Like I said, you can't have one and not the other. You have to have everything in spot to order to display this move, okay? So one more time. Off here, I twist it out, I yank it out. Let's say I got all the way out, okay? Now, I have a hold of the tricep, okay? I need a firm hold over here, all right? I'll try to dig your fingers in a little bit more. This is very good, all right? Now from here, at the same time, don't forget your opponent is actually clinched to you too. Because when you start throwing uh, grips and techniques on your opponent, they're not thinking about striking at the same time. They're trying to think about pushing you back, trying to put defense on you, okay? But at the same time, always be cautious. From any second, someone might throw a punch and drop you. So, from this position here, I have a hold of the tricep. My hand is right behind his back. I break and I take it out. Now from here, my my leg, my my foot is already in front of his foot. Okay, I want to be able to sit right between. So I come back here. As I as I'm coming, my right hand goes right underneath the armpit, and I give a little little yank here. I just want to give a little rabbit punch up here. Okay, this little punch will get, try to get him off balance just a little bit. Every single thing counts. Okay, so from here. Okay, I take it out. I step in. As I'm coming around, my hand hits. As I hit, okay, I drop. You see, as I drop, I have a hold of the arm. It's not down here, guys. This is very dangerous. See, you can yank it out, and this is your back from there. It's all the way up to the shoulder, okay? As you can see, one on tricep, the other one underneath holding a firm grip on the bicep, okay? That's, now everything here, speed can be a big factor here. I might not even have a, a tight hold, but my speed and my momentum might take him over me. So, I have a hold of the tricep and the bicep here, okay? Right over my shoulder. Now all I do, I come down, I twist, and I pull, okay? I'm gonna throw it this way here. From here, calm down. And I twist them. One more time. From a different angle. Okay. Same way. 
we're clenched up from here all right again the tricep you take your arm out okay you yank it out now from here you want to go under the armpit you want to step one two okay one two those of you who have seen me fight at UFC 44 I tried on my opponent where I was here and I created space in here okay where my opponent didn't know what was happening and I took him over after one two throws once you clinch with them all they're trying to do is try to push you back they're trying to play defense it's automatic reactions okay so basically from here you take your arm out you come in okay now it's I showed you before a couple of minutes ago where I want you to create space which is good it's very good but at the same time if you create space it comes to a little different angle but you can also do that the same way so from here as you break you come back okay you come in with your left leg right between his leg okay it hits and I drop as I drop I roll a twist over my shoulder 